Alrighty, so you are wondering if it's too fast or too slow. Let's check it out. Um, the bass, sorry. All right. All right. Mm, I don't think it's neither. It's not too fast and not too slow. I think it, it's too even. Um, so idea-wise, again, this is, <coughs> excuse me, all good. I love that. Let's see. Bolt come in. You can probably, once you spline this out, bring the bolt into like here, or even off screen. Because we see the kit right away. So it would be kind of funny to have a bit of a, whoa, like a, a full second of just the bowl. Like, what the hell is this? And then, oh, okay. And then, so timing wise, you know, you would have, because you can make this as slow as you want to just fool the audience a bit of what that is. And then it's like, whoa, like he could come in, slow down, drop, right? It's almost like he's weaving and it's kind of going left and right. So it would be almost kind of like slow and then comes in, slow, bam, and then puts it down. And then he gets to here. When he gets to here, I would definitely pause. Because you need a pose where his legs are down and he's getting, he's getting ready. And that can be a bit of a pause. Then you get him up. And then, you know, from here to here, that's going to take a lot longer because he's going to get up and then uh, ah, get on there. Not that it's super heavy, but there's still contrast in the timing. Then he gets up there. That can be all fast. But then, you know, he gets up here um, and like a little pantomime moment of, well, he's going to look at the TV, look down, look at the TV. Like, okay, get ready, I'm ready. Oh, oh I'm watching this. So it's continuing. I, got, I need my popcorn now. Then that would be a lot slower because, I mean, it is heavy. And that feels like paper. So you're going to have to find some interesting way of him. You know, maybe one hand is here and he reaches the other hand over there. He's kind of like that lifting it off here for balance and then slides you know and then it's then it's on here and then maybe he uses both arms like that <clears throat> to then slide it over and then it's ready and then i will give it some pause i'll give it maybe like another 20 frames of him just watching and you can see his eyes dart left right left right and got the flicker of the tv and then suddenly he goes nah. <laughs> But then that would be like, like that's more like a very subdued one. So just think in terms of kids. So he might bring uh, his legs in uh, and really kind of move over to the side. Uh, you know, to hold on to this and just just push the poses more. And then he would be more invested. So when he eats, um, he might, you know, maybe he crosses his legs, leans leans forward a bit. He's like that hand on the couch and then it's really shoveling the thing in there you know just for contrast of timing so he goes mm, pause and, ah, ha, ha. Mm, 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 mm. i can that's that's the end just for for timing purposes purposes because right now if that's your graph your engagement is like this like in terms of audience engagement and contrast and all that stuff because even in blocking you want to have you want to present the timing as it should be so you know for for animation you want the main thing would be contrast like this right you start somewhere and you end big or you're big and you end slow but within that you know you can easily have little ups and downs and things that happen and i think at the end so think about more texture to the timing as you uh flesh out the timing and, and bring in more uh, breakdown and stuff like that and think about acting choices like i said like different ways of getting up interesting ways of picking this up interesting ways of sliding in back and every time he does something it's a different thing he's eating here and he's eating here well that's going to be that's a different pose but see if i go back and forth the only difference are the shoulders so every pose needs to be different um and that's why i would for me at the end have him whatever interesting uh leg pose and go forward and shovel it because timing wise it will be like he get he gets up and then mm, and watches the he goes ah <laughs> Right, so you don't want to go to the baseline and be the same. So he has this big outburst of laugh, but when he goes back to a more, you know, hunched over pose, within that you can still have energy, in and that's the fast shoveling of food in his mouth, popcorn falling out. Um, it's almost like alluding to you know, there's more coming. Like you cut now, but you know, like he's he's really invested and he's really eating like a like a crazy guy. Anyway, these are my thoughts. As always, you can agree, disagree. 
uh, we can always talk about it. But um, watching this, that's kind of the impression that I have. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.